Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and dirty hologram shader in Blender 2.81. This is in response to a few videos that I've done already that uh, people are having trouble, trouble because something changed in Blender 2.81 from Blender 2.8, and I'm going to show you what that was. Here we go. First thing I do is I have a default. No, it's not a default. It's not a default to anything. It's just a sphere. So I'm going to go to shading and I'm going to go on my sphere and here's my material, right? So the first thing I'm going to notice here is that in these prior hologram videos that I have made uh, on 2.8 for the last year, we've had this blend mode over here and we've had this additive and multiply over here. Okay, that's gone. So they've made this work like cycles now. So all you have to do is this. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back and show you what this is. All right, so here's the new setup. Okay, so instead of using this blend mode down here, okay, this thing, Okay, you set this up like this. We're still going to use this, but you set it up like this. So you have a mixed shader, right? Go in and you have an emission and a transparent plugged into this. This is a very common setup. It's been around for years in Blender. So then what all you do to control this is the factor, right? So you have trans totally transparent, totally opaque, right? Or transparent and emissive. So all you to do is just go ahead and add in a texture. So I'm going to say image texture. I'm going to plug color because I know it's black and white. I'm going to grab one and the image will be link for this image will be in the description. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this earth specular map and there we go. And now if you go to blend mode and change this from opaque to alpha blend, now it's blending through. So you can see here, now it's working just like it does in cycles, right? So if I go here to EV and I change to cycles there, oops, my bad. Okay, here's cycles, here's EV, same freaking thing. Pretty cool. Okay. So now what you can do is you can just go ahead and do the, the whole hologram thing, right? So you can like turn on bloom if you want. Um, you can grab this and make it like Star Wars blue. I don't know, is that a color? Is that a color? That's a color. That's, that's totally a color. Like Disney has their colors, right? So that, anyway, and if you want to make this more, see right, right now it's, it's opaque. Like you can't see Australia through Brazil over here, right? So what you can do is you can just go ahead and you can add in a converter color ramp, throw that into here, okay? Because this is controlling the factor of this, the mix between transparent and emissive. And you just take black and you just turn this up a little bit or a lot. And now you start seeing through it and now it's more hologrammy, right? And now if you like go crazy on this intensity thing over here or you like take this up, right? You could see that where, where it's, it's editing, right? It's editing. That's not even a word editing. It's additive, right? So you have mixed shader over here. It's coming over here and it's doing this and that's kind of cool, right? So that's more hologrammy. Now, one last thing is if you, um, want to make this even more star Wars hologrammy, right? You can just go ahead and, uh, I have, I have real node wrangler installed. So I'm just going to hit control T over here. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in so I can like collapse these guys and take them out of the way. I don't really need them. And I'm going to operate on here to get these scan lines in here. So if you want those kind of scan line look, right, a really cheap way to do it is to just go here. Uh, you can grab a texture. I'll say brick texture. I'm going to say this mix shader here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use a mix shader. Watch this. I'm going to do something cooler. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use math. I'm going to throw math in here. I'm going to turn it to multiply. And then I'm going to take the factor here and I'm going to do that. And you see it's like going like this. It looks like crap, right? Then I don't, I, I don't like that. So I'm going to take the UV here and I'm going to throw the UV into vector. And now it's going this way. That's what I want. And then I'm just going to set up some, some little things here, right? So I could say scale. I could scale this up. Let's turn off bloom right now. And I can just play with these. So I'll say like, uh, let's see, mortar size, turn up mortar size. And you can like turn this stuff up and you can play around with this to your heart's content, right? Brick width. And now you kind of get these scan lines and like you totally don't even have to worry about these colors. See, they, they don't really matter. We're just dealing with the factor over here. So that's kind of cool. And you can like go ahead and play around, squash these, elongate these. I, I don't know. I don't know. Do whatever you want. It's, this is, this is your, this is your thing. And you can kind of get these scan lines. And like I said, play around. I don't want to make this video like super long and like crazy annoying, but you can go ahead there. And now you can also, uh, one last thing here is you can go ahead and add in like a, uh, color brightness and saturation here. Okay. You turn the brightness down and now you have like better control over this whole thing. All right. So play around, have fun. Turn Bloom back on because, you know, it's Bloom.
And there you go. So now you got like total crazy, like, yeah, nobody's ever going to want to look at that, right? But, you know, find a happy place. Bob Ross finds his little happy trees. Happy earth. And now you got this kind of like really interesting looking weird effect. Or you could like just kill that off and have whatever. So have at it, have fun, play, and hopefully you learn something. And if you want to render this, okay, one last thing here. I know I said like three last things here, but here's one last thing. Check this out. If you want to, okay, under film, you can go transparent and this will render it, right? So if you want to like comp it later, you just hit render image and here it is, but it doesn't have the glow on it. Okay. So you would have to use like a glare node and compositing. And I, I have like compositing videos on this channel here. I probably linked one up here, but Here's the alpha, so you get the alpha, right? Or you can choose to render it without transparent, and that will render the glow, right? So render uh, render image. So now you do get the glow, but you, your alpha is is like this, okay? And this is causing a lot of confusion for people, but that's pretty much what you're getting. So you would just take this, and you can add like you can add this over in a composite, and it won't add any of the black, but it will add all the glow. So that's like another cheat you can do. So hopefully that makes sense. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, great. You know something more and knowing is half the battle and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.